Everything in moderation is a common philosophy on this channel, being good most of the time, but can moderation be taken too far? Today I'm gonna to be trying celebrity cheat meals, but only in 100 calorie portions. Our first celeb is John Cena, accomplished wrestler turned actor. Look at me walking here with my scale. I feel like an IFBB pro. But right away, guys, give the video a like because I'm gonna be giving myself culinary blue balls all day long because I'm only having 100 calorie portions and I need like melatonin to get me through my wet dreams. You know what I mean? So Cora's first stop. John Cena just woke up one day and was like, I'm gonna extinct carbohydrates. Like clearly carbs are his kink. I would not be surprised if his Red Room was the local bakery. So we have some French toast right here. We have strawberry banana pancakes. And then Will, did you bring with you a pocket muffin? Of course I brought a pocket muffin from Tim Hortons because he loves muffins. I'm a ride or die carrot muffin man, but they didn't have it. So I had to opt for a blueberry muffin. Men are only as loyal as their options. So the French toast is 470 calories. This, guess guys. 700 calories? No. 900? No. 1,000? Not quite. 1,090 calories in that. All I gotta say to that is, bruh. And then 380 calories for the muffin. So we're gonna add the whole thing to the scale. 3.38 calories per gram, now times by 100. No, that's wrong math. Oh man. <laughs> okay, so we get 29 grams of French toast. Imagine I ate all this, I'd have enough carbs here to outdo my grandpa's Cialis. Man. That's a hundred calories of French toast right there. I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna do that, I'm not gonna do that. French toast is one of my favorite French things besides a croissant that requires my own filling. And I'm not a stubborn man, I'm more of a, I'm more of a savory man. But when it comes to French toast, it has to be brioche bread or else I am not gonna eat it. Oh man, that's so good. Okay, so I, I guess that's it. That's it for the French toast. Now, are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? Like this is an absolute thing of beauty. Strawberries and banana are like the best combination of all time and that sauce. I hope, hopefully the chef didn't strain himself too hard because this is a this is a thick cream. She, she dumb thick. Okay, so we need 67 grams of pancakes for 100 calories. It's pretty much like one eleventh. Oh man, I'm scared here. That's over 100 calories. 100 calories, and this is what they literally give you. If this is not portion size 101 lessons right here, I don't know what is. Absolutely magical. The fact you only get one bite, John doesn't even have to do it. I'm gonna suplex myself. No way! No way! Okay, so the full boy. She weighs 106. Now it's time to decide, do I want top or bottom? I'll mix it up and go with top for once. Never get the choice. <laughs> Comment down below, would you guys, do you guys prefer top or bottom? Comment down below. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That is 100 calories of the blueberry muffin. Mmm. Don't fall into the trap of thinking muffins are healthy. They're not at all. Might as well get a donut. You know, you probably get two donuts for one muffin. So that is my breakfast. We have all of this left. I tell the server to give me a to-go bag. French toast, do you wanna come home with me? I don't consent. You do? Okay. I was never this successful at the bar. William, why are you making this video? The fact of the matter is people literally have no idea how many calories are in their food. The American Journal of Public Health found people underestimated the calorie content of foods by an average of 600 calories, which is essentially a whole meal. Portion sizes, hidden calories from cooking oils and sauces, and even understanding how to make healthy substitutions are things that we aren't widely taught. And as we can see, things can add up pretty quick, even when it doesn't look like it. Next up on our list is Selena Gomez, AKA Alex Russo. She has a very interesting combination for us. I feel like a weirdo walking around with some pickles, but it's not the weirdest thing I've done with pickles. We're at the movie theater right now, I'm gonna go get a snack, and hopefully there's some magic at play here from Waverly Place. Dude, don't show that. Does anybody ever come to the movie theater and just get snacks but not see a movie? Is that weird? I feel really weird right now doing this. 8.46 for popcorn. I'm getting robbed right now. Oh. What does give the gift of escape even mean? That just sounds terrifying. Like, kids, escape from your parents. 
So we have ourselves a regular popcorn. Out of all the things in the world, Selena Gomez chooses popcorn. That's like saying you want to go on vacation, you go to the Idaho potato farm. Like, what the hell? Ugh. So I did the math, and I only get 20 grams of it. The feeling I have right now, I have this whole thing, and I only get 20 grams. That's like telling me I got adopted from the orphanage, and then they forgot to file the paperwork. This ain't skinny pop, Greg. That didn't even register as a gram. Okay, this could be pretty good. Four grams. Four gr This is actually like 10 times more than I thought. A few inches later. There we go, 20 grams of popcorn. Look at that, it's a lot more than I thought. Selena Gomez is a psychopath. I feel like this combination, she did not discover this on purpose. Like I feel like Justin Bieber broke more than just her heart here. So what she's gonna do is she would open the pickle jar and she would dip the popcorn into the pickle juice and then put it in. I feel like this is like Walden Farms and Sugar Daddy websites. I wish I never discovered this because I'm gonna be like a regular user. Very highly addictive. The brininess from the pickles and the saltiness and butteriness from the popcorn. Oh, the pumps that you get after something like this. I feel like nurses would just want to get me sick just to treat me, you know what I mean? Because I feel like my veins would just be popping everywhere. People complain that it's soggy, but if you do it right, you're having half of it soggy and then the other half crunchy. Oh, there's a soggy one. That's a bit harsh. Today is all about how easy it is to eat 100 calories, but what about how easy is it to expend 100 calories? Newsflash, is not that easy. So what I did was I went online and found the 10 top cardio things that burn calories the fastest. We're gonna try three right now in a little cardio Olympics to see which burns it the fastest. So I'm gonna start my handy dandy Apple Watch. Outdoor run, outdoor run. Where the hell are you, outdoor run? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! Damn! Okay, Surya, that's your side, okay? Running is the absolute worst. We've been running for almost two minutes. Almost got mugged by a dog. Honestly, I think I could have eaten at this point in time a thousand calories. And we have burnt 22 calories. Come on. Why the fuck? Leave me alone! So we burnt 100 calories, eight minutes, 48 seconds, pretty good. Average heart rate, 147 beats per minute. Cardio number two, which is my personal favorite, is gonna be some jump rope, which I think is gonna win. I think it is like one of the best forms of cardio that you can possibly do. So we have to beat eight minutes and 48 seconds. Start nice and easy, a little quick feet. Oh, sorry tree, couple double unders. No, can't do that. I'm untangled up here. I usually can't get myself out of ropes. Oh, I need food right now. All I'm thinking about are those pancakes. Rub that Cora cream all over me. Sorry, tree. Crazy to think all this work is for literally, like what, like six seconds of satisfaction when I swallowed that muffin? What the hell, man? Oh, lesson learned here, guys. Don't come out of the gate too fast because you're not going to last long. Pace yourself, slow stroke it, add some time on the clock. I'm about to skip so fast, you're going to think it's a time lapse, okay? It's not a time lapse. We have 10 calories to go. We're about to go absolutely, absolutely ham here, okay? Sorry, tree. Back up for you. 100. I got sand in my butthole now. My butt look okay? Six minutes, 24 seconds, we burnt 100 calories. Average heart rate, 165 beats per minute. The third and final cardio is aerobic dance. I didn't expect much from this, but apparently it's one of the top calorie burners, so we're gonna try it out right now. It's gonna be very, very awkward, so you might wanna close your eyes. I'm a horrific dancer, but I'm gonna try my best and have some fun. I'm waiting for the biggest freaking bass drop of all time. Oh, they're still just, oh. They're still just stretching their neck on the ultimate bass drop I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm assuming MDMA was the pre-workout for these people other than the lady in the blue. I feel like she just attacks every day with this kind of energy. 
I'm kind of concerned for the lady in the back there with her mask on. She's gonna like suffocate. You know what, I honestly feel like I haven't even burnt a calorie yet, but I'm having a hell of a good time. Oh, one tapped out there. See ya. It's not for everybody, not everybody's an athlete. I feel like I'm like training to become like a backup dancer for Charlie's Angels. I'm like an age restriction on YouTube with these hips. Oh, the confidence is building. The hips are getting looser. What the hell is this? Do they have like double jointed freaking waists? You guys do not believe this right now. We are two minutes and 27 seconds in and we're on pace with running and biking. We have burnt 25 calories. The lady in the blue has yet to make an emotion, like at all. She's just, going, she's just doing it. She's an absolute, you know, whatever. Okay, stop, that's enough. They, they, they don't even stop. Like they're actually robots, they're robots. Stop. That took us 10 minutes and 56 seconds, 101 total calories, 104 average heart rate. It was fun. Might not be that effective, but if you enjoy doing it, then do it. It's better than nothing, right? Uh, let's go eat. For the post-workout meal, we're gonna be having two different celebrity cheat meals. The first one, we're gonna do a little bit of trivia right now. So we are going to a pizza shop because this person likes to have a New York slice specifically from Patsy's Pizzeria. Can you guess from these people right here? Can you? That cheese slice looks sad AF. So we're gonna get that one. Which one looks the worst to you? Like which one would you like want to have the least? I would say veggie, right? Veggie? I'll go with the veggie one. Who wants to eat veggies, right? Now this person I watched all the time with my sisters. They would get two burgers, one a bacon cheeseburger, and the other one a burger with chili on it, cut it in half, have each half, and then give the other half to somebody else that they're with. Who do you think it is? You want to wave at the camera? No, no, no! No? Oh, oh, okay. It's not going to bite you. Yeah, number, you number. No, 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 no. You want my number? No, YouTube, YouTube. Oh, my YouTube, oh, okay. I was feeling good about myself for a second yeah. there, okay. If you guessed Ryan Reynolds and Blake Lively, well then you are correct. Can we just take a moment to appreciate how cute that couple is? They're just adorable. Making it in Hollywood, that's as rare as the pull-out method ever failing. But we were gonna start with Ryan Reynolds, the pizza fan, a very reliable cheat meal item, just like choosing C in multiple choice. So we went with the garden veggie, 560 calories. Now tell me how this makes sense. The cheese pizza was 580, but then this is 560, which is essentially the cheese pizza with added toppings. Hmm. Seems like a great Canadian dude. He is a Scorpio though, so can't be too sure. I did the math, so I only get 42 grams of the pizza. So we're about to cut the pizza even more. I feel like the Italians could do this as some sort of like interrogation to make someone confess. Like we're gonna cut the pizza. This better be 42 grams. That is 100 calories a pizza. What the heck? Do you see that effort we just did in the workout? How much I ran, how much I skipped, and how much I did the other weird dance thing, and then that. Life's not fair. I feel like a psychopath. We gotta move on right now. We gotta move on right now. Moving on to the significant other. We got Blake Lively. I love her. I wanted to go surfing ever since seeing her in the shallows. I'm a shameless gossip girl fiend, I must say. So, the two burgers with the chili. I was expecting her to be more of like a sweet potato fry kind of girl. I would expect this more from like DJ Khaled or something like that, you know what I mean? Because I feel like after one bite, I'm gonna want another one. You get it? Yeah. Got the Wendy's chili. Fun fact, this is actually the leftover meat from the burgers in here, which is kind of kind of fun, but kind of, kind of gross too, if you think about it. Each of these burgers, you're looking at 600 calories, and then we're gonna add the chili on top of one, which makes one 840 calories. That's over 100 calories. Oh my God. It's such a little bite, but there's like a male party in my mouth right now. Oh wow, this is gonna be messy, man. 100 calories of the chili cheeseburger. Do I have oil on my hands? I don't even care. Mm. God bless all cows, man. Bathe him and beef together.
When I think of a functional family, I think of the Kardashians, but the only thing they seem to disagree on is fried chicken because Kim K likes KFC, but then Chloe, they all like Popeyes better. They have actually video footage and like photos on Instagram of them having Popeyes on their private jet. So relatable. So what we're gonna do right now is we are gonna see which fried chicken is the best. To settle the score, I'm gonna have my sister and girlfriend come on in for a little breast exam and we're gonna see which one reigns supreme. KFC, it says right here, I searched it up for the six piece bucket, you're looking at 610 calories. And then it even says right here on the first website, you need to walk 170 minutes to burn 610 calories, which is nearly three hours, which is a lot, a lot for, for this little thing right here. And I don't really believe it. One piece, if this is, if this is 100 calories, I'll see you guys at KFC, you know what I mean? And then the next one we have here is from Popeye's, the eight piece chicken. And again, eight piece chicken, 800 calories. So they're saying this massive breast is 100 calories. Are they lying to me? I think, I think, they're, I think they're lying to me. All right, girls, let's go. Okay, coming. Coming for your breast exams. Ew. So we have two different fried chicken places here. We have mm -hmm. Popeyes, which is known for their their honest chicken, like their like down home southern cooking you think your grandma would make. Questionable. And then we have gestured at Popeyes. No, so I didn't. I could have been. Popeyes. I could have been. Popeyes. And then we have KFC. We have KFC, <laughs> which is known for their eleven herbs and spices. Yeah. What you're gonna do is you're gonna try to guess which one is which, and then you're gonna tell me after which one you think is better because the Kardashians can't agree on it. Clearly, I mean this like one got this chicken. one got like freaking like implants compared to this unit. one. Cheers. Cheers, Come everybody. Ew. That's oh not good God. for some. That's Can good. I like you think, take this out? Mm. It's like, this is like a very good high quality piece. Mm -hmm. I think. Are you trying to convince us that it's KFC? No. It's very flavorful. The flavor being salt. But not very oily. Do you guys think it's very oily? Really? I'm literally mm. doused in it. Really? Yeah, look at that. I mean, it's more of like an now. overall like sheen. Like when you have sunscreen on, it's sort of... Yeah. No, guys, oily. she's oily. Look at that. Oh, well don't Did do that. Did you do that? <laughs> she literally just... To prove a point, I mean. You're not proving a point. All you're doing is making it, you're giving me haters on the internet. Yeah, I'm Well, it would be my haters. No, it's my haters. Cause ours are. Cause your actions reflect me. Aw. Yeah. Okay, okay, let's move on. <laughs> I'm good, I ain't neat. I feel like, I feel like dirty when I eat this one. Like not that type of dirty, like just dirty. He's the thing about KFC, no I'm chicken. not saying this is KFC, but the thing about KFC is usually it's so oily, like the napkins are probably deep fried. Really? Yeah. But I thought you said it was natural. Who says natural? You said that they go for a natural vibe. KFC? Isn't that KFC what you is said? far from natty. So they're famous for their seasoning. It's mm. gotta be this one. Okay. And which one do you think is better? This one. Okay. Me too. And which one do you think that is? I stand by my decision. I think that was KFC. Okay, so you guys are both wrong. Really? That's Popeyes. What the heck? Yeah. Okay. And you guys both chose Popeyes better, right? Yeah. 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 What this do you is think? Like, this is actual garbage. Yeah. It doesn't I agree. have any flavor. KFC is garbage. As you can see, 100 calories does not go a long way. If you're on a diet, 100 calories over your calories is quite a lot. It can completely throw you off track. So next time somebody offers you a bite of something, maybe second guess it, maybe take a look and see how much it is. Because again, 100 calories can make a big difference. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.